Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for June 7th through the 13th. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well in these crazy, crazy times. Um, all right, my loves, I would like to give a special shout out to Siriana Taro. You can find the link to her channel in the description box below. She is an amazing reader, a very good friend of mine. So guys, please go ahead and give her a warm welcome. Like, share, comment, subscribe, okay? Uh, let's get started. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides for clarity and guidance. What love messages do we have for my Aries, please, spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages can we bring to my Aries, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, love messages, advice. What messages do my Aries need to hear, please? June 7th through the 13th, please, Holy Spirit. All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this video. Um, I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, palo santo, sage, jewelry, uh, crystals. Um, I give away NIV version uh, Bibles, large print. They are so uh, amazing for Bible study. Um, so be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? Um, when you comment, guys, please be sure to manifest what it is that you would like to win in the giveaway. So if I choose you, I know what to give you, okay? Um, in the description box below, you'll find my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. Um, you'll find my Timeless Collective readings, um, Instagram, a whole bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out, okay? So Aries, let's go ahead and get into uh, your pre-shuffle, which was good. And not so good. <laughs> there was a little bit of everything in there, okay? Um, so I feel, Aries, that, guys, somebody has come in and rocked your world, okay? Now, you may have rocked someone else's world. Take it as it resonates, okay? But I feel here that, you know, in your heart, you've always wanted this one type of person okay um you prayed for them you manifested them whatever the case may be and i feel like the universe has delivered okay so everything is peaceful everything is perfect you're happy okay and boom out of nowhere you get a message from somebody okay this automatically creates a third party situation so you don't want a third party situation right because you're very very happy so you try to push this person away okay you try not to think about it but this person knows how to get under your skin they know how to get in your head right you know what i'm saying um they they know i feel like this person knows that you've moved on to new love that you're trying to commit you're trying to do good you're trying to work on a connection and this person very strongly wants to come in between that okay they want a second chance they want to heal a situation this person may have hurt you very very badly um but i i, I gotta be honest with you i'm not feeling like this person has good it, oh Oh, guys one moment I'm so sorry about that guys yeah so as I was saying I don't feel that this person has good intentions like what I mean by that is I don't I don't feel like this person is coming into your life because they really love you and they want you back I feel like it's coming more from a sense of they don't like the fact that they see you working on a connection quite possibly in a way that you were not working on this connection with them, okay? Because anyone that you meet in life, you're going to have a different relationship. You're going to handle things in a different way, okay? Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like the connection that you're sharing with this new person, you don't have that connection or never had that type of connection with them. So they want to come and try to pull you away from that. So here we've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This could be somebody coming in with an apology. Um, this could be, um, yeah, I'm getting an apology, somebody, but it's a very slow moving energy. So I feel like this person is like kind of slowly trying to creep back into your life. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Aries, please? 
Okay, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Worth waiting for popped out. That's interesting. I feel that the person that you currently have in your life, you know that it's divine timing. You know that the connection is, is worth it. Discovery. Yeah, you see here, I feel like it's, it's worth not like jumping to make a decision and figure out what you really want. Like it's worth waiting here because yeah, you see here, we have a kindred partnership and status quo and transformation. There's a connection here that has truly changed you, uh, Aries, or truly changed your perception on love. Um, and I feel like you're you're going to wait. You, I don't feel like you want to make a decision about anything just yet. But this person knows how to get under your skin. What messages do we have here for my Aries, please? We've got laughter. Okay. Maybe this person... Um, I, well, maybe really I'm getting more happiness here, Aries. It's worth waiting for you to realize here with, with you know, discovery. I feel like it's you're, you're wanting to wait to see, to discover where your true happiness lies. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't feel like you want to make a decision just yet, but this person is, I'm feeling a little persistent, okay? Because they're, they're getting in your head. So let's see here. So we've got temperance, Sagittarian energy, and we have the five of wands, okay? So we have two very different energies here. The five of wands talks of an energy of, of jealousy, strife, drama, somebody wanting to come in to fight for something, okay? Whereas with temperance here, um, you know, it could be that this person wants forgiveness. It could be that they want to heal a situation, but I'm, I'm kind of getting an energy of like one person is really like, you know, trying to be patient and the other is very like, you know what I'm saying? Coming and fighting for a situation. We've got the six of pentacles and the sun. Okay. So I feel like there's a sense of like, you kind of know that this person is coming in to like, you know, cause an imbalance here. You know, the six of pentacles and the traditional rider weight, there's three people. So I feel like with that sun card, it's like, you're kind of aware, like there's a, there's a part of you that's aware that you know that this person is trying to pull you away from something to cause an imbalance. With the nine of wands and the two of cups, I feel like you're tired. You're tired, you're tired, you're tired, and you're in a connection right now. You're committed, you're in a relationship, um, but this person, like, you know, like, you're just tired, and I feel like the soulmate connection kind of, like, soothes you, they make you happy, they bring peace and healing to your life, and then we have this person here coming in, offering a third-party situation, wanting to apologize, causing a third-party situation, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, a clear, a, a, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Do you understand? Like, and you're just tired. You might be tired because this person is always doing this. Like every time you get into a relationship, this person comes and tries to pull you away. Okay. So here we have the hermit, Virgo energy. And we have the death card, scorpionic energy. So I feel like, you know, there's going to be a change here. Yeah, there's a change. <sighs> So I don't know if this is you withdrawing from this third party energy or if, it, you know, because the, the death card here is it's a life changing event. It's not like just your mood changing. OK, this is you realizing that maybe you have to, um, you know, pull away from something here with the full card and the four of cups. I'm getting this feeling of, you know, um, not wanting to accept this offer, not wanting to take the risk with the five of cups and the five of pentacles, this person is not taking it well. Okay. So I feel here that this is the third party energy. I'm feeling here that this third party is starting to see that things are really changing, that you're withdrawing from them, that you're not taking that offer. And with the five of cups and the five of pentacles, they are not doing well. They are not taking this well with the chariot and the high priestess. This person is going to come in fighting. They want victory. And with that high priestess, this person has um, secrets up their sleeve. You know what I'm saying? They they have um, this person is is coming forward for victory, but I feel like they're not going to tell you off the bat. They're not going to be like, oh, well, I'm coming in to win you, or I want you, or this, this, and that. They're kind of doing it in a more low-key way. Like, they're not saying what they're truly out to do here, but this person's not doing well. They feel abandoned by you. They feel, you know, a lot of guilt, a lot of regret. They're not happy here. They're not happy that, you know, maybe in the past you've always jumped and taken their offer, or you've always jumped and, you know, went right back to them. No matter who you were with, you would just leave 
leave them and jump back to them, and that's not happening, okay? Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Aries? Tell me about temperance. Yeah, three of cups. This person wants to heal the situation. They want a reconciliation. And I feel like this person is patiently trying to cause a third party situation because they want to cause strife and drama here. They see that you have something very abundant on your hands. And with that five of wands, they're wanting to fight, you know, for it. Okay. With the six of pentacles here and the hermit Virgo energy, remember we have the hermit right here. You're withdrawing from this because you know that this person is out to cause an in balance in your life with the sun card here and the lovers you're realizing here that you have a soulmate connection and with the snake here you realize that this person is coming in to tempt you to make a mistake okay that's what i'm feeling here now aries this could be vice versa this could be you tempting somebody tell me about the nine of wands and the high priestess cancer piscean energy and the six of swords your intuition is telling you that you know the nine of wands you're tired it's a it's a card of being defensive spirit is telling you to defend this soulmate connection that you're in and to move away from this third party person queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy you're in a very committed and loving connection here and with the death card scorpionic energy this this connection has changed you in a lot of ways, Aries. And look, we've got the death card here. So we've got the hermit and the death card and the hermit and the death card. You see that? And this third party is starting to realize the change in you. Tell me about the queen of wands. But this person with the nine of cups, the, this third party energy here, they want what they want. Okay. They want you. They want to bring doubt. They want to bring chaos into this connection. They want you to juggle your person and them. Tell me about the page of pentacles temperance sagittarian energy and again this person knows how to talk to you okay with the world card here i feel like um they're talking to you they're being patient but i feel that this cycle is over and you know that okay yeah they're yearning for you but you know that this cycle is over and i feel like they feel it too tell me about the hermit card please Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. So this could be you withdrawing your energy, Aries, but I don't really feel that. I feel like this is the third party that's coming to this realization that you are pulling away from giving them a second chance, that you've made a final decision to withdraw from them. Tell me about this death card, the Six of Cups. You guys, you have a history with this person. You really do, but things have changed. Things have changed. Tell me about the Four of Cups, the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. So someone here is being rejected because of an Empress. I feel here that with that Four of Cups, somebody is not taking an offer because there is an Empress in the picture here. And that truth is loud and clear. Leo energy with the Sun card the fool. Yeah. Somebody here is saying, Hey, take a risk, come towards me. So this is basically someone from your past that every time you're in a relationship, if this person calls you or wants you to take a risk, wants you to meet up with them, wants to have a one night stand, you know, you always run and go, but now you're leaving this person out in the cold. When they ask you to make a risk, take a risk, you're not answering. When they offer that pentacle to you, Hey, let's go out. Let's do this. There's no answer. Okay. And with the five of cups here, someone here with with that four of wands and the five of cups they're not taking it well they're they're really hurting because they're realizing here that you know this might be over you're actually committing you're actually settling down they do not like it five of pentacles they do not like being blocked they do not like being cut off they don't that's it's not cool you know what i'm saying and they're seeing the truth of this they're coming into this realization that you're cutting them out and with the chariot card here make no mistake they're coming to fight we've got that five of wands up here remember they are coming into fight that chariot is getting into that chariot with plans for victory okay they're coming in to win you okay eight of swords they are stuck in their head they are not letting this go they're going to chase you okay or vice versa aries this could be you chasing tell me about the high priestess the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy very strong cup energy here there they want okay i feel like this person's feelings are very hurt and they want to desperately cause a third party situation here they don't want you to give up on them if anything they want 
your person to give up on you. This is the way things have been in the past between you and this person, and they do not want things to change. You changing up the game is rocking their world, okay? This person knows that whenever they call you or whenever they want you, you stop, drop, and run. No other girlfriend, no other boyfriend has ever come before this person. And now, instead, things have changed and you're not answering them back because you have found somebody that you really love. Um, the challenge here is the strength card, taming your emotions, holding back Leo, Leo energy from a third party situation. You see here, I, and I, I again, I, I can't express myself enough. This has been an ongoing thing. So Aries, either you have an ex here or a childhood sweetheart or somebody that, you know, whenever you call this guy or whenever you call this girl, no matter if they're in a relationship or not, this person drops and runs or vice versa. Aries, you have a friend that whenever they call you, no matter who you're with, you drop and run. Okay. And that's not happening this time. That is not happening this time. So we've got the Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Someone here is seeing the truth of the matter that you are giving up on this connection, this friendship, or whatever it is. But this person, I promise you, is not taking it well. They're going to come in to screw shit up. I feel that this person is about to do something that they regret because I feel like this person is coming in to destroy your stability. This person is about to do something that they are going to regret with that five of cups. Um, they feel guilty, but they're going to come in and do it. They want to destroy whatever this connection is that you have, Aries. Okay, so let's take this into an extended. Let's see what's going to happen with this third party person. Um, let's see if it's going to affect your current connection. And let's see what the outcome of your current connection is going to be. Okay. Um, all right, guys, I love you. The link for the extended will be in the description box below and it'll be in the comment section below. Okay. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.